just the beginning. Final. It will take more than this to definitely, oh. definitively tackle climate change. But it is a step. Big band and traditional jazz. Bob Sinfield on Jazz FM. Is that you, Santa Claus? Not yet. To the Jazz FM one o'clock jump Christmas party. I am surrounded by live musicians. Hang on, I'll just I'll just take his pulse. Yeah, they are live. They are live. I will tell you who they are after they have played. They've got to sing for their lunch first of all. Please welcome brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, Granny and the twins. I give you the one o'clock jumpers. The one o'clock jumpers, jolly well done, gentlemen, by their names, shall we know them. Uh, first time on Jazz FM, welcome, Paul Seeley on guitar. Oh, Good afternoon. Yeah, clap, 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 clap. And uh, <laughs> someone who's very well known to us, brandishing his clarinet, and with his uh, tresses, pre-Raphaelite style, flowing in the breeze, Julian Mark Stringle. Oh, beautiful, Julian. Yeah, man. And on an instrument that can only be described as the crumpet... Digby Fairweather, the indefatigable Digby. Yes, they said that um, the first Beatles album took a day to record and the next one took even longer. How long did that, how long did that album take to record, Digby? Bob, it took two and a half hours. We were booked in the Hoxton studio of um, Peter Inn from 10 o'clock in the morning and um, the lovely leader, Slim Gaylord, turned up at quarter to two. We were done by quarter to four. <laughs> that explains the you see? You see? <laughs> you don't have to hang around. I get this show done in two hours flat. Many thanks to Julian Mark Stringle and Paul Seeley and Digby Fairweather for their time and music today, helping us to celebrate Christmas somewhat prematurely. It's Jazz FM, where the two o'clock news is next. Big band and traditional jazz with Bob Simfield.